Reading from Simad Bhagavad Gita as it is, Chapter 4 Transcendental Knowledge, Text number 42 Tasmad Agyana Sambhutam Kiristam Jnana Sinatmana Chitwai nam samsayam jogam Atishto tishta bharata Tashmad agyana sambhutam Iristam gana sinatmana Chitwai nam samsayam jogam Atishto tishta bharata Tashmada gyana sambhutam Kristam gyana sinatmana Chitwai vai nam samsayam jogam Atishto tishta bharata Artist 
Cashman, dear four, again a sambutam, born of ignorance, Christum, situated in the heart, Diana of knowledge, Asina, by the weapon. Admana of the cell, Chitwa, cutting off, Enam, this, Samsayam, doubt, Jogam, in yoga, Atishta, be situated, Utishta, stand up and fight, stand up to fight. Bharata or descendant Bharat. Translation and purport by Divine Grace is confound of Chari Jagat Guru Lesi Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki. Therefore, the doubt which have arisen in your heart out of ignorance should be slashed by the weapon of knowledge. I am the word yoga, O oh Bharat, stand and fight. Let's repeat. Therefore, the doubt which have arisen in your heart out of ignorance should be slashed by the weapon of knowledge. I am the word yoga, O oh Bharat, Stand and fight. Stand and fight. This is a summary of Salapopad on this entire chapter. In this verse, in this purport, Papa summarized the whole chapter. All in one, in one purport very condensed so we'll go eat gradually we'll go through it gradually <clears throat> but something we should put in our mind as we are flowing huh? something we should put in our mind arjun is sitting on the chariot what is he doing Fully determined not to fight. Ajun doesn't want to fight. Because the fear of incurring sin has overtaken him. So he doesn't want to fight. But Krishna wants the fight. Krishna wants him to fight. So, <clears throat> Krishna is speaking to him. Atrishta, Utrishta, Bharata. Stand up. Stand up and fight. Because work and knowledge two things combined work and knowledge very purifying it is purifying work without knowledge is dangerous but the work with knowledge is very purifying so Krishna is telling Arjun, stand up and fight. Why you don't want to fight is due to ignorance. It is ignorance. But if you do your work with knowledge, based on the teachings of the Sastra, you'll be free from all sinful reactions. Therefore, you have nothing to 
fear. <clears throat> so Prabhupada explains in the purport. Prabhupada studied his explanation. The system, the yoga system instructed in this chapter is called Sanatan Yoga. What is that? Eternal activities performed by the living entity. Sanatan Yoga. All eternal activities performed by the living entity. Krishna is introducing that. What Krishna is introducing. This yoga has two divisions of sacrificial actions. Two divisions. One is called sacrifice of one's material possessions. And the other is called knowledge of self, which is pure spiritual activity. If you look back in the chapter, if you look back in the chapter, Krishna described different, different, different sacrifices for different kinds of people. Sacrificing one's position is performed by householders. Sacrifice performed by knowledge is performed by unadulterated brahmacharis. Unadulterated brahmacharis. The two are not the same. Sacrificing one's position in sacrifice and the sacrifice performed of knowledge, they don't have the same result. So Prabhupada made a very clear distinction here. If sacrifice of one's material positions is not dovetailed for spiritual realization, then such sacrifice becomes material. Uh, there are so many personalities who are doing so many charities in this world. So many charitable organizations all over the world. Not all of them are benefiting. Charity means what? One has worked so hard by his or her fortune, has acquired some wealth. And one is making sacrifice of that. Building hospitals for people. Building free schools for people planting trees for people, digging wells for people to drink. One is sacrificing his position. What is the aim of that? It is not about helping the living entities. It is about using the living entities for one's promotion to heavenly planet. That is charity. Therefore it is selfish it is selfishness extended selfishness that is extended selfishness the result is different from one who has sacrificed not just the position his time to study the scriptures for the purpose of placing krishna it is different the sacrifice of pleasing Krishna is most important. So Prabhupada made a clear distinction that if the sacrifice of one's position is not dovetailed in Krishna consciousness, it is of no benefit. Because it is still material for the same purpose. In other words, we should look at what is the goal of our activities what we are doing, who is meant for the enjoyment. It is meant for who? For demigod, for the forefathers, to go to heaven, or to please location. They are different. 
So Prophet made a clear distinction. In other words, so the Prophet is saying, it is not just sacrifice that is the issue. We should check whom are we making the sacrifice for. Is it for Jagya Purusha, Krishna, the Supreme Person of Godhead? Or it is for our own selfish ends. We are doing it so we can be promoted to a heavenly planet. Generally, majority of people who do charity, uh, philanthropic organizations or activities, it is, it is meant for one's benefit, material benefit, not even to go to Goloka. It is go to heaven. Why heaven? For better sense gratification. Well, the sense gratification day is higher than here. Therefore, one makes the charity to go there. One makes the sacrifice to go there for better sense gratification. Therefore, it is still selfish and material. But one who performs such sacrifices with a spiritual objective or in devotional service makes a perfect sacrifice. When we come to spiritual activities, we find that these are also divided into two. Namely, understanding of one's own self or one's constitutional position and the truth regarding the Supreme Presence of Godhead. The goal of our activities the goal of our sacrifice should be able to help us to understand clearly what is the position of the Supreme Presence of Godhead. What is our own position? What is the relationship we have with the Supreme Presence of Godhead? That sacrifice is wonderful. And it should be the goal of life. But there are other goals which are not meant for pleasing the Supreme Person. It is not meant for understanding Christian. It is meant for our selfish promotion to higher planetary systems for better sense gratification. One who follows the path of Bhagavad Gita as it is can very easily understand due in these two important divisions of spiritual knowledge. For him, there is no difficulty in obtaining perfect knowledge of the self as part and parcel of the Lord. And such understanding is beneficial. For such a person can easily understand the transcendental activities of the Lord. In the beginning of this chapter, the transcendental activities of the Lord were discussed by the Supreme Lord Himself. One who does not understand the instructions of the Gita is faithless and is to be considered to be misusing the fragmental independence awarded to him by the Lord. In spite of such instructions, one who does not understand the real nature of the Lord as eternal, blissful, all-knowing personality of Godhead is certainly fool number one. <clears throat> we should study Bhagavad Gita to understand Krishna. We should study Bhagavad Gita to understand Krishna. When Krishna gave Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna, completely, Krishna did not just walk out. I finished with you. You understand me? Bye bye. No. Krishna asked Arjuna. Did you hear me with an attentive mind? Was that your situation? 
Did you hear me when I, with an attentive mind? Why Krishna is asking that? He said, if you did, your ignorance must have been destroyed by now. And you will be a different person from when I start to speak the Gita to you. Is that your situation now? And Arjuna said, yes. Yes. That is my situation. My situation now is that my ignorance is destroyed. I have regained my strength. Now I am in a perfect situation to understand exactly what is my duty, what is my nature, what is my relationship with you, and who you are. Therefore, I am not ready to fight. Krishna smiled. You are a good student, Bhagavad Gita. You are a good student, Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is not just a book to read, to entertain our intellect. Bhagavad Gita is not just a, a mundane novel. We can read and forget. Bhagavad Gita is meant to destroy our ignorance. To re-establish our lost relationship with the Supreme. To be reinstated in our constitutional position. For us to act according to our nature as a permanent eternal servant of the Supreme Position of Godhead. That is the purpose of Bhagavad Gita. And Krishna is asking, if you have listened to me, by now your ignorance will be destroyed. But if you have not listened with your mind, ignorance will not be destroyed, even though we have sat in the class, even though we have participated. Krishna said, if we don't listen with the mind, only the body is sitting, the mind is not sitting, the mind is not hearing, the ignorance will remain. Then I can ask why. I have been attending Bhagavad Gita classes for years. And I have spoken on the same subject matter for years. So, why my ignorance is still there? Christian said, which will hear with the mind. So he's asking, did you hear with the mind? Oh, the body was just sitting there. The mind was in a different place. I didn't say no. I had you with my mind. Therefore, I am ready to fight. I'm no more bewildered. I'm no more on the body. Now I can understand the difference between the body and the soul, which I did not understand before. Now I can understand. Therefore, I am a transformed person. So Barugita is meant to transform us. So Prabhupada said, if one does not understand, the instructions of the Gita is faithless. It's faithless. One is faithless. Why faithless? We didn't listen with the mind. And is to be considered to be misleading and misusing the fragmental independence awarded to him by the Lord. Our independence, <coughs> our independence, fragmental independence, little, little independence, that independence is given to us for Christian service. It is not for something else. It is for Christian service. If you don't use our independence in Christian consciousness, it is a misuse. It is for faithlessness. Faith 
very very powerful without faith one cannot do anything in this world without faith one cannot even eat one cannot drink without faith one cannot even lie down on the bed if one has no faith that this bed is not made of arrows it is comfortable for my sleep one will not sleep there Without faith, one can even take a step from where one is. That I am standing on a solid ground. And that I, if I take another step, I will not fall. I will be supported. One cannot take even a step. A faithless person has no presence. Nor the future. So, proper said... Faithlessness, as confirmed by Krishna himself, in chapter 9, Krishna said, Those who have no faith can never attain me. Chapter 9, text 3. Those who have no faith can never attain me. Their future is Mrtu Varadmani Samsara, rotating in a circle. That is the future for those who are faithless. The future for those who are faithful is Krishna. Those who have faith, transcendental faith, they will get Krishna. So faith is very, very important in our life. In faith is something that does not go down. Rather, it increases. In our devotional life, as we continue to make progress in Krishna, there are so many things that have to go off. There's so many things we have to change. A certain thing will be destroyed. But faith is one thing which never goes down, but constantly increases. So as we make advancement, our faith control to increase. The more advancement, the more the faith becomes. That is the importance of faith. Faithlessness cannot make one Krishna conscious. So Krishna said here, the doubt which have arisen in the house should be destroyed. With what? Knowledge. The weapon of knowledge. In Bhagavatam, Krishna, uh, Sutta Goswami say, with sword in hand, the sword in hand, one should cut all the knots. One should cut into pieces the binding knots which change the conditions of this material world. What is that? Knowledge. Knowledge. Knowledge is required. In the beginning, doubt is very good. In the beginning, doubt is good because it is a symptom of intelligence. 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 What is this? Why is it like this? Why should it be like this? Why is it here? It's intelligence. One wants to know. After knowing for some time, after knowing what is this? Why is it like this? Why is it here? How is it, how is it to be used? After knowing all these things, if one is still doubtful, that doubt becomes a stumbling block. One will never make progress. For a doubting soul, for a faithless person, there is no future. So Krishna is saying, at this point, the fear, Arjun, referring to all of us, the fear of incurring sin should be destroyed by now. The fear should not be there again. The fear should be gone by now because of the knowledge received. So Prabhupada is saying, in spite of such instructions, one who does not understand the real nature of the Lord as the eternal, blissful, all 
knowing personality of Godhead is certainly full, number one. There is no future, no existence for a faithless and doubtful person. Ignorance can be removed by gradual acceptance of the principles of Christian consciousness. Christian consciousness are awakened by different types of sacrifices to the demigods. Sacrifice to Brahman. Sacrifice in celibacy. In household life. In controlling the senses. In practicing mystic yoga. In penance. In foregoing material possessions. In studying the Veda. And in partaking of the social institution called Varnasham Dharma. All of these are known as sacrifice, and all of them are based on regulated action. But within all these activities, the important factor is self-realization. In other words, Sacrifice to the demigod, sacrifice to Brahman, sacrifice in celibacy, in household life, in controlling the senses, in practicing mystic yoga, in penance, in foregoing material positions, in studying the Vedas, and in partaking of the social institution called Varnasham Dharma. All of this different facilities, different processes, different systems given by Krishna to us is meant to help us to come to this one single point. What is that? Self-realization. One should become self-realized. If one is practicing celibacy without realizing the self, it's useless. If one is giving positions in charity, in sacrifice, if that does not ultimately lead us to self-realization, useless. The one practicing yoga, if that yoga is not taking us to Krishna consciousness, to realize Krishna, useless. Anything which we do without coming to self-realization, without understanding Krishna, useless. No benefit. In other words, the goal of all the activities which we perform is to realize Krishna, the Supreme Presence of Godhead. Therefore, Sri Sadhna said, All occupational duties a, a person may perform according to his guna and karma. If by performing them, one does not get promoted to Krishna, that activity is useless. Although everyone has a prescribed duty according to the scripture, everyone has that. But here we are hearing that even though they are prescribed according to our nature and we have to do them, if by doing them one does not have attraction for Krishna, it is useless. The purpose of all these activities is to get, the, get us promoted to the platform of Krishna consciousness. One who seeks that objective is a real student of Bhagavad Gita. But one who doubts the authority of Krishna falls back. One is therefore advised to study Bhagavad Gita or any other scripture under a bona fide spiritual master with service and surrender. We should not read Bhagavad Gita alone in our house. We should study Bhagavad Gita under an authority. 
So Christian told Arjun, go and approach a saved a life soul. Christian was picking the guitar to Arjun. He didn't tell him, now I have finished speaking, just sit down and read what I have given you. He said, go and approach a saved a life soul. Why did he say that? Go and approach. Because one has to surrender, and the surrender means service. When these combinations are there, the discipline will be given by the saved life soul. That discipline will make us purified. That purification will make us self realized. Christian conscious. A bona fide spiritual master is in the disciple succession from time eternal, not just yesterday. Parampara. And he does not deviate at all from the instructions of the Supreme Lord as they were imparted millions of years ago to the Sun God, from whom the instructions of Gita, Bhagavad Gita, have come down to the earthly kingdom. One should therefore follow the path of Bhagavad Gita as it is expressed in the Gita itself and beware of self-interested people after personal aggrandizement who deviate others from the actual path. Like Ramakrishna. And many others. They have Bhagavad Gita. But what is the purpose of Bhagavad Gita? To deviate people from, from the path of transcendence. So Prophet saw that. And he saw the injustice they have been doing to <coughs> living entities, even to themselves. So he wrote Bhagavad Gita as it is. Because this one carry the message of the person who spoke the Gita and proper shouted, if you are going to speak on about Gita, then we should recognize the original speaker about Gita. If, if we are to speak our own, we should go and write our own book, but not Bhagavad Gita. Because Bhagavad Gita is spoken by Krishna. We should present Krishna as he, as he is. And his guitar should be presented in relationship with him because he spoke it. So Prabhupada said we should be very careful with people whose intention is to deviate others from the actual part of self-realization. The Lord is definitely the supreme person. And he should be presented as a supreme. Throw at the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna should stand distinctly as a supreme person who is speaking to us for our own benefit. The Lord is definitely the Supreme Person and His activities are transcendental. One who understands this is a liberated person from the very beginning of his study of Bhagavad Gita. The Prabhupada key. Thus end the Bhaktivedanta purport to the fourth chapter of the Srimad Bhagavad Gita in the matter of transcendental knowledge. Comments or questions? Yes, sir. Okay. It's the microphone. Okay. Ross, thank you. I have uh, two questions. All right. Yeah, one of the questions is just uh, at the point of your rounding. You mentioned that the guitar should be read uh, with people or the sacred life soul. Yes. So, uh, my question on that note is with my experience in India, you know, going to different schools, university, having seminar presentations for all the students, I discovered that this part of their culture that so needs you know, to be around. Who are trying to understand the Gita and you know, get the knowledge from them and the culture. But I you discover that uh, presently that system is no more functioning. And because of this, because it's no more functioning, 
Yes. <clears throat> but Gita should be stored by a sailor, a life so not a fool. We don't have several life schools in uh, our universities. They are all ignorant people who have no faith in Krishna. So, Krishna is so perfect and complete that in Kali Yuga, everything that should go wrong is going wrong. Nicely. Before the people sit down in the evening to hear Ramayan, Mahabharat, so people were with the culture, the understanding to approach the side was there. Now Ramayan Mahabharat is replaced by CNN. CNN. Right? So what is there on the CNN? Maya. So why would Baba Gita not be on Asura's mythology? Nobody there to guide. So we're simply getting information without knowledge. Therefore, the civilization is going down this way, not going up. Therefore, Christian consciousness has a serious job. Eastern Society for Christian Consciousness has a serious job to do, to go everywhere and distribute this knowledge to make people understand that Borgita is not an ordinary book. If it is an ordinary book, Krishna will not ask Arjun, is your ignorance there or it is gone? Krishna will have just finished teaching and just go away. But because he's not an ordinary book, he wants to see that the Borgita has the potency of Bhagavad has implanted himself in the heart of the audience, Christian eyes. How is alive now? Are you still the same ignorant person? I didn't say no. How is the mythology? It's a fact. Therefore, we have a serious duty to go everywhere and preach Christian consciousness to make people understand that we should not waste our time with information. We should take advantage of the Bhagavad Gita and purify ourselves, we become self-realized by approaching a self-realized person, not a fool. Hmm? All right. Yes. Which has to do with uh, some brother and uh, Abigail. So, but I uh, want to raise a question again that Ajun was already has information. But what was it happening? Uh, in Barugita, you will see, if you store Barugita very carefully, mm. you will see that Ajun was addressed as Buddha Kesh. Means what? Good case. He has conquered ignorance. It was after this that he dropped his weapon and will not fight. It was not before. So how is he good a case? If he's good a case, 
he should be he should be on his feet, ready to fight. After he was given the title Guda Kesh, he behold the man king. And he was confused and bewildered. I will not fight. Krishna, what is this? Did you kill your teacher? Did you call your father? Why are you telling me to kill my teacher? What kind of knowledge is this? So Krishna was smiling. <laughs> so That was a question. Why is he bewildered at this point? Arjun is acting. He is acting. He is not a condition soul. He is acting. He is used to represent us. Not a conditioned soul who is really influenced by ignorance and his suffering. He is used by Krishna. Krishna put him in that condition. He is playing a drama for Krishna to give us Bhagavad Gita. So he is not bewildered. But Krishna cannot use a conditioned soul to teach us. Because we will not stand the test. Therefore, Krishna had to select a pure devotee who will stand the test. They have already rehearsed the drama they're going to play. Now they are playing the drama and we are participating <laughs> in the drama. That is the situation with Arjun. He is acting, he's not a conditioned soul. Hare Krishna. Sri Hopa Kija, Sri Mandavar Gita Kija.